What's up? How are you guys this week? We are back for another Q&A and guys be sure to tune in because I answered every single question that was on that community page. There were definitely over 50. And if you guys do have any health questions, be sure to search my YouTube channel because we have over a thousand videos now on various health topics. Uh, so we're gonna jump right in with Svaro B as the first question. Have you thought about creating a community group that outlines your diet protocol in depth? It would be good to see how others are doing when following this protocol rather than just being kind of alone. Uh, we tried doing Discord a few years ago and <laughs> basically my competitors infiltrated it, uh, stole my customer base, and it was a whole fiasco. It was pretty bad. Uh, so maybe we'll try to do something more regulated in the near future, but uh, I will be doing my official new meal plan within the next few weeks. NS. Frankie, if water kefir grains stop multiplying and shrink a lot, is there anything that can be done to restore their full bacterial complexity and help them start growing again? Or do I have to look for the new ones? Uh, the safe bet is just get the new grains because you know we have so many of them and they're so affordable on frankiesfreerangefoods.com. Uh, if you heated the grains too much or if there was too much chlorine in the water, you might have killed the bacterial cultures. So if you fix the temperature and the water and they're still not growing that great, then you're going to have to start over again. Uh, I.O. Can copper deficiency cause poor sun tolerance, skin issues when trying to tan in the sun? Not really. Uh, that's just going to be a matter of you getting in the sun, building up the skin tolerance, and then maybe supplementing a little vitamin D along the way can help. But for the most part, you just have to be outside as much as possible. And after a few weeks of tanning, your skin should be able to heal and, and a lot more efficiently at least. Corey Jane. What constitutes a healthy stool and bowel movement? How are your bowel movements when consuming large amounts of water kefir at the initial gut healing stage? So the ideal is that you, know, you go on a regular basis, and you're not struggling, uh, basically like a no wipe poo is theoretically the perfect bowel movement. But you know, when I'm detoxing my liver and a lot of dietary changes and sometimes having cheat meals, it's not always going to be that great and water kefir shouldn't really mess up the bowel movements that much. If it does, then you have to change the way you're making it or the amount you're drinking. That is if, you know, the water kefir isn't fixing like a candida overgrowth or something. There are circumstances where the water kefir will improve the bowel movements, but if it's doing the opposite, then something's off about how you made it. Uh, Isaac Odea, if one has high aluminum levels, aside from removing main sources such as cookware, canned goods, what are some ways to then remove it from the body? Magnesium, high silica water. The body is going to naturally remove it. You know, you can't really chelate anything from the tissues itself. You have to just remove all the environmental toxins and then let the body do its thing. You know, it's ingrained in the tissues. You know, you can't go into each individual cell. But there are certain things that help whether you're taking activated charcoal and hydrating and drinking a lot of water, uh, but there's no like direct single thing you can do to chelate the stuff. My robot direct. Do you think that if you incorporated water kefir grains and collagen broth from the start of your new diet, you would have healed your gut much faster? I don't think the collagen broth is that big of a deal, but the water kefir and water kefir grains, if I knew about them and how important the probiotic was, I would have felt a lot better, a lot quicker for sure. Uh, Chippo ILV, can you explain to us exactly the amounts and processes your potent water kefir undergoes? Uh, so there's a lot uh, of extra text in that question. Basically, you can just increase the amount of grains and the amount of sugar proportionate to the water and just let it ferment a little longer. And if you're having any issues, you just have to adjust those amounts. But eventually, you'll be able to figure it out. Uh, you don't necessarily have to follow a water kefir recipe. You could just add more of all the ingredients. SH. Hey Frank, I have several ideas for videos. Uh, what happens with surplus potassium, macronutrient distribution, nervous system dominance, fasting. I mean, extra potassium can help some people with natural foods like coconut water. Um, it, it will be excreted after the body has enough. Macronutrient based on metabolic type. Most people are supposed to eat the same macronutrient ratios, balanced amount of carbohydrates, fats, and proteins. It's more about the food quality nervous system dominance, diet and mineral requirements. That's very, very specific and nuanced and that requires a lot of research. Uh, it's easier to just uh, get a hair mineral analysis, see what minerals you're deficient in, see how you react to taking certain things because the studies aren't always great indicators of that. 16-8 uh, fasting could be beneficial, but long fasting produces adrenal fatigue. Uh, yeah, we did a video on the fasting stuff recently. 
Alternative day fasting caused metabolic reduction more than normal caloric deficient. Again, the, the food quality is more important and you can definitely check out my fasting video. Uh, potatoes, peel or not to peel. We've gone over this a lot. You always want to peel uh, your fruits and vegetables. Uh, Frank, as far as you can tell, what started the low carb diet and what was it intended for? I think it's just dietary trends and then people always used to say like the keto was for the people with epilepsy. But overall, it's probably just to sell uh, certain products. A lot of these dietary trends, you have to keep in mind, their goal is to distract people from what actually makes you healthy. So if they can keep people on the regular conventional agrochemical filled feedlot crap with some sort of niche trend, they're absolutely going to do that. And there's so many of those trends and they keep doing it for years and years and years. Notice how there has never been like, oh, an organic high quality diet where you reduce radiation because that's what you really have to do. Corey Jane, what are some other safe mushroom varieties to eat daily aside from shiitake? I mean, if they're organic for the most part, you're probably okay. Uh, Hen of the Woods, uh, what's the other one? Uh, Chanterral, some of those are pretty hard to come across. The maitake, oyster mushrooms, a lot of them are really, really expensive and you can't find them organic, so shiitake seem to be realistic. Upland Arch, do you think there's a connection between high copper levels and high sensitivity to EMF? conductivity in the body. It's all related to your liver function. And yeah, if you have metals and toxins in the body, that's going to impair it. But there could also be so many other things that are impairing your organ function that will increase your sensitivity to EMF. High copper on its own, usually not a sole issue. I mean, Benoit, besides water, what is the best drink to consume upon waking for someone who is trying to quit coffee? So I usually add uh, some lemon juice to the water sometimes for some extra antiscorbutic properties, but a high quality mineral water with nothing like bad in it, you know, you know there's no chlorine or fluoride or any of that crap. That's really what you need to hydrate with in the morning. Uh, maybe sometime in the future we'll have our own farm and be able to do a, a special type of dairy product that I think is okay. But for just pure hydration, it's hard to really argue for anything besides water. Because even if you make like a healthy lemonade or you have water kefir, or you add a little sugar to something, it's not going to be nearly as hydrating as just water on its own. Tet vum, how should one go about healing stuff like seborrheic dermatitis, psoriasis, eczema? Uh, I get one of these skin issue questions basically every video. Maybe I will do a video on it, but uh, you know, not to simplify things and be really general, you have to follow my dietary protocol because all of these skin issues, everything on the outside, it all comes from the inside. So if you have a healthy diet, a healthy liver, a healthy gut, you won't have any skin issues. And the only thing on the outside that can help is if you get a lot of sun, it can kind of recycle your tissue and help your liver heal to some degree. Same with exercising, but the diet is 90% plus. SCP 1986, fiber supplements bad in a way we can't possibly tell at first hand. Took it for a long while and I've conveniently never had digestion issues regardless of diet. I mean, the fiber supplements can help detox the liver. And as long as there's nothing negative in it that you don't know about, like it's a polluted supplement source, then there's no reason not to take it. But uh, in some cases, like when I do it, sometimes I do get diarrhea. But as long as you don't overdo the fiber supplements, it's fine. Uh, we did the uh, detox shake protocol a few times on this channel if you do want to try stuff like that with the fiber. Sparrow B, would it be okay to apply pure emu oil shea butter daily? That's exactly what's in the moisturizing cream on Frankie's Natural. So, I mean, yeah, you could do that, but we do have it already uh, set up for you. Izzy, if you had to consume a vegan diet, what would you consume? I don't really like questions like this because it's these ridiculous hypotheticals that would never happen. Uh, but if there were foods that I would suggest that vegans should eat more of, uh, coconut is very, very healthy. It's saturated fat compared to all the seed oils they usually eat. You know, whether it's coconut milk, cream, all that type of stuff, they should be eating a lot more coconut, but those people are also usually, again, saturated fat. Uh, you have these grains and like organic sourdough breads and whatever it is, they need a lot more of those because grains are calorically dense and also nutritionally dense in some cases. So uh, the, those two things that vegans shy away from, the saturated fat and the coconut and all these high quality grains, even if it's just regular sourdough bread, that's a big mistake they're making for sure. How healthy do you think a vegetarian diet high in eggs and raw dairy would be? I'm not a fan. Um, you know, you guys see I don't eat eggs and dairy myself. And as I've said several times, in the future, my own farm, special animal feed, maybe it'll happen, but that's not a diet I would recommend. Emmy Benoit again, do you ever take a break from drinking water kefir? 
I read online Tibet people believe that the best way to drink water kefir is two cups a day daily and after 20 days to take a 10 day break from kefir, kefir to completely rest the body. I mean, I don't drink it as much anymore. Sometimes I'll just have it for lunch with some water kefir grains because I've noticed I don't really need it. Uh, before for about a year, I needed it like every day with every single meal to sleep and digest properly. But now it's safe to say that I do have a somewhat healthy gut microbiome with the correct probiotic bacteria. So see how you feel. Whether you feel better with it or without it will indicate if you need it or not. Because if you have healthy gut microbes and you feed them, you know, they're gonna eat the food and you're gonna feel good. But if you have healthy gut microbes and you drink water kefir and then you eat food, you might not feel as good. Mark for Cret, is there a difference between raw meat and cooked meat as it pertains to how healthy it is? Asking because my vegan neighbor keeps bringing up how cooked meat is unhealthy. I mean, we've done so many videos on the raw versus cooked meat stuff and the nutrients and the antiscorbutic properties. Most people should be eating rare to medium rare meat. You're getting the best of both, the caloric density of the cooked meat and some nutritional aspects of the raw meat. Um, overall, cooked to some degree is better for the body. It's just when you overcook it, that's the real problem. So when people are having this like raw versus cooked argument, what you should actually be saying is at what point is the nutritional availability of the protein at its highest? There are specific nuanced situations with glands where you don't want to heat them that much to preserve the natural occurring hormones, but uh, the actual muscle meat isn't as important. Uh, John Sergi, which has more unbalanced omega-3 to 6 ratio? Is it grain-fed beef or pasture-raised eggs? And which is safer, plastic bottled water or tap water? Uh, again, this is one of those questions that it, it's like a hypothetical. I'm guessing that someone is trying to decide between having pasture-raised eggs or grain-fed beef as their main caloric source. And grain-feeding the beef isn't the problem. It's all the other crap. You know, it's low-quality grain sprayed with so many chemicals. Their animals are getting hormones. Very, very sick, unhealthy animals. And that's the meat you're eating. If it's an organic grain-fed beef, that's perfectly fine. And you need to have some actual animal protein in your diet, you know, outside of the eggs and dairy. You know, you need to have some red meat in your diet to, to really be healthy. Uh, plastic bottled water or tap water. I mean, plastic bottled water in almost every case, but uh, that's another really subjective thing where both of them are not the best option. Dylan Zago Lacerda. Are carrots high in anti-nutrients and safe to eat? By the way, I love carrots. Very bad. Usually the more colorful the vegetable is, the higher the anti-nutrient content. Uh, so if you're eating something, if it's not for minerals or caloric density, you probably should not eat it. Fresgi Belay, would you recommend grain-fed lamb over pastured eggs? I can only source these two at the moment, so what would be my best bet? Is this the same as that other person? I don't think so. Uh, but it's a similar question. I think the lamb is gonna be much higher quality than the grain-fed beef in a lot of cases. So I would definitely go for the lamb. Uh, tea Culpepper, is kombucha as bad as soda? I think we did a top five probiotic video or something, or a video where we spoke about kombucha, and it's not really a probiotic. It's like a fermented drink that doesn't have a super high bacterial culture. So I wouldn't say it's healthy for you, but if you really like it, maybe it's slightly better than soda. I think it's made with tea as well. So there could be a problem with the contamination that tea leaves. Uh, Gebri, GH, organic egg versus grain-fed beef, which is, okay, I think the same person is using like three accounts to ask the same question to drive me crazy. Uh, as garters, uh, what's your opinion on the Nordic diet? Uh, I'm guessing what you mean is the diet that people in those Nordic countries follow. And a lot of them are very tall and very attractive and very healthy, especially in the Netherlands. Uh, I think that might have a lot to do with uh, the environment they live in being lower radiation, having a lot of animal protein as in dairy when they're growing up and uh, just that type of diet for years and years and years has made them very healthy. But there's also people in those countries that uh, don't end up as healthy. So I think the two main factors there are uh, the animal calories in the diet and how much sun and activity they're getting outside. Uh, but it's much better than the standard American diet to say the least. Uh, Frag... <laughs> I'm not trying to pronounce this, Gebrezgi. If I can't access to grass fed beef but have pasture raised eggs, oh my god, this fuck. That's the fit. I gotta. I should probably just edit this out. This guy's driving me crazy asking the same question five times. 
Uh, Randall Olin, 901 ATT. I have extremely dry skin and can't eat hard cheeses, bread, pasta, or rice because it makes me constipated. I managed to figure out that it's a hydration issue. I've taken Accutane in the past. You have to follow um, what I'm doing, basically. Same protocol that I'm doing. Don't take any supplements for a while. And when people have severe liver damage and poor digestive health, you got to try to figure out uh, a mastic gum and water kefir protocol. So you're saying you can't eat bread, pasta, rice. You should be doing, as I said, exactly what I'm doing. Very lean beef, carbohydrates that you tolerate, low fat. Use the mastic gum and the water kefir to kind of regulate your digestion. And if you can follow that for a few weeks, you'll start feeling a lot better and then a few months even more. And then it's kind of a long-term thing. Definitely check out my day of eatings and meal protocol videos I've done so far. MA, is the water keeper still active if I drink half, put it in the fridge, and drink the rest the next day? Yeah, one day is fine. Um, over a week and a half in the fridge, you might be pushing it, it'll ferment too much and you'll lose some bacteria. Uh, Rexan Kaolino, maybe you've covered it, but my question is, after I get my blood test to see where I'm imbalancing my hormones, for belly fat and 25 pounds in a year, what vitamin and food keep a woman's hormones youthful? Uh, so the main principles I talk about on my channel are you know, the high quality organic foods in the diet, uh, getting a lot of sun for vitamin D, and the radiation reduction. Uh, if you do those three things, you will have healthy hormone levels, but it might take a long time to regulate. So you guys always see me wearing the Wi-Fi shielding uh, sweatsuit joggers to protect my entire body from EMF, uh, radiation. I sleep in a bed canopy all the time. That's very, very important for your overall organ health and metabolic function, which translates to hormones and weight loss and every single thing. So uh, Roxanne, I would say, Make sure to reduce the EMF as much as possible. Eat organic foods in the diet, and that should really be plenty for most people to get healthy. Florian Scherer, how to chelate aluminum from the tissues. I mean, we answered that earlier. You can't really chelate it. Just remove all the negatives from the diet and hydrate a lot. Hadley, is it safe to eat 12 raw eggs per day? Definitely not. <laughs> Definitely not. As I said, you guys you know, support my businesses. We'll have eggs and dairy for you guys very, very high quality, affordable, that everyone can eat, that are super hypoallergenic. We do have hypoallergenic eggs right now on Frankie's Free Range Foods that most people can tolerate, but I wanna just tweak a few things even more when I have my own animals. Lethal, uh, what are key signs of kidney damage and how to reverse it? Also, what foods in general help with kidney function besides actual kidneys from animals? It, the dietary protocol that I'm doing is also very important for healing the kidneys as well. Uh, the difference is you're going to really want to focus on the type of water you're drinking. Uh, you guys see me drink Fiuji all the time, which is a low mineral water known for healing the kidneys. You really want to get uh, super hydrated all the time and uh, try not to take too many supplements to start off. Just really what I've been saying uh, as general questions for people to uh, improve certain skin conditions and dietary issues. Um, follow my current protocol and you should be feeling a lot better. Mark Egner, why is carbohydrate considered bad by so many? It's like an easy target when these really low quality crappy junk foods are usually high in seed oils and carbohydrates. That's what has been painted as the bad guy. When in reality, carbohydrates are the only thing that can adequately feed your gut bacteria to have a healthy gut microbiome. Neo, how much do you spend on glass bottled water? Do you have access to a cheaper wholesale rate? It seems that drinking and cooking in glass bottled water will cost on average two to 3,000 per year. Uh, I do have a distributor near me that I purchased from that's actually not that much cheaper than the store. Uh, you know, if you're buying one or two pallets uh, of water, which would probably last most people a year, then you can get a decent discount. Uh, otherwise, like, yeah, if you buy a truckload of water, then you're gonna get a good price, but that's like, you know, we're talking, oh God, you know, thirty, forty thousand dollars $40,000 worth of glass bottled water minimum. So, I mean, where are you going to put it, you know, and take up your whole house? So look up a wholesale distributor and see what uh, their pricing is for a pallet or two of water. Uh, it'd be, are oranges okay to eat? Are apples enough vitamin C? Uh, my simple answer to that is no. Uh, I wouldn't eat oranges and, you know, you kind of need to take like an ascorbic acid supplement for vitamin C if you're deficient. Uh, you know, if you're eating just whole foods, you generally won't need extra vitamin C, but then if you start eating some refined carbohydrates like cookies and sugar, you're gonna have to supplement some vitamin C to make up for it. Boogle, do you think it matters what fabrics are being used for clothing, furnitures, or anything that would be in close contact with the body? 
I don't think it's that big of a deal after the clothing is washed. Um, there are a lot of people that have researched this and looked into this and there are negative things that can impact the body, uh, especially the chemicals on the new clothes and certain types of materials and like wool cotton is supposed to be the best, but because of all the other modern problems with our diet and lifestyle, like it's, it's not really a super high priority. Uh, my Ratty 2, thoughts on Aeris Tech EMF modulating device. I actually didn't look up what this was, but any sort of EMF device that says it can neutralize like other frequencies is just complete nonsense. You know, EMF is almost like a gas. And the only way to protect yourself from that would be to enclose yourself, like wear a gas mask. So you need to wear clothing to protect your body or stuff on your head. There's, there's no pendant or ridiculous thing that's gonna actually help from that perspective. There's a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of scam EMF companies out there selling these fake products for ridiculously high prices. And that's because they want it to be kept a secret. They don't want you to know that clothing and silver fabric is how you actually protect yourself. I mean, Benoit, oh, three questions. Uh, getting the special treatment. What are some examples of an optimal breakfast? We just did the healthiest breakfast video last week. So be sure to check that out because this question was asked before that video. Uh, Khaled Ali, why four ounce water kefir grains not available on Frankie's free range foods? because we now have eight ounces at the same price, giving you guys a nice little discount. The Legit Lad, how do you make the water kefir without molasses? It is so refreshing without molasses. Uh, you can use dried fruit as a mineral content, but it, it gets a little difficult. Um, if you look up online, like some people add pinches of salt, some people add different mineral stuff. I'm experimenting with uh, some new recipes right now without molasses. So hopefully we have that water kefir ready for you guys this week and uh, it'll be really, really tasty and hydrating with the electrolyte content. Abhay Naik, uh, can you do a video on sprouted grains? I've heard that sprouting grains neutralizes the anti-nutrients in them. It's not really an issue or concern, uh, sprouting grains. Um, and, and I've also read negative things about the grains being sprouted. The more important thing is that uh, it's just high quality, organic, and you're cooking it properly and you feel good eating it. Akuo, general protocol for hyperthyroidism and thyroidal nodule. This gets really specific. And as I've said over and over again, if you're not following my current diet that you guys have seen me do in my day of eatings, that's like a baseline. So it's very difficult for me to say what you should do because it's very possible that just following my dietary protocol as well as reducing the radiation could fix your problem. However, there are specific nutrients, whether it's selenium or iodine or um, certain things that can help thyroidal function, especially like taking a glandular that we have on Frankie's free range meat. Anabolic insurrection. What are your thoughts on Mike Menser's training protocols? Uh, if my memory serves me correctly, Mike Menser used to do a once a week workout or something crazy but the guy was obviously on PEDs and um, had excellent genetics. I don't think he uh, ever won the Olympia though. Uh, if my memory serves me correctly, maybe he wasn't as big as the other guys. I, mean, I, I think that can work for some people, but you know, my maximum volume hypertrophy training routine uh, that we have on frank stefanocom is basically the opposite. It's every single day, super high volume in the gym frequently. Uh, Kaba. Why do I have symptoms of a low thyroid but my blood work is fine? I used to have much more energy a few years back. Uh, again, I'm gonna sound like a broken record, guys. You need the EMF reduction clothing. You gotta follow my dietary protocol. If I know you're doing that, then I can answer this question in a different way. Uh, but we did just give some thyroid advice. Uh, lethal, thanks Frank, your products are amazing. <laughs> yeah, I'm hoping we stick it out because I, I really haven't done half of what I want to do in terms of high quality, healthy products, um, but We'll see. You know, it is nice when I get to, you know, sit down and eat and, and have access to things I never had before, whether it's the breakfast sausage, the roast beef for lunch. Uh, ben Savage, I've been enjoying eating hot peppers, but they've been starting to burn my buttocks off. Is there anything I can do to damper the heat down there? Peppers, capsaicin. If I do some research on it, I'm sure I'll find out that it's basically a direct liver toxin. So I wouldn't enjoy peppers more than once a week. Shoot back. Will you ever meet up with Sverge? I mean, uh, I'm not going to go too much into detail. He's 100% in the club, whether he's a low-level member or whatever, but um, short answer is probably not. 
Emmy Benoit, six questions, buddy. Do you have any goals or aspirations for 2023? Uh, we should probably do a video on what my goals are so you guys understand uh, what you're supporting and what I want to do. And I've probably said this before, maybe on live streams, but you know, hopefully we get the meat processing plant, we get the farm. Um, I always wanted a soup kitchen in New York. I honestly expected to have that already by now. Just uh, really help people has, has always been my goal. Uh, ever since I was young, but um, you know, there's a lot of people that have been pretending to do that, that kind of discredit that. Um, so I don't really like talking about it that much. A legendary member, a <laughs> liver king admits he uses dextrose powder and only drinks Mountain Valley Spring water. Think he's a shill and stealing your information. I did a video on TikTok. If you guys want to go on my TikTok, I've, I've called them out a little bit, but there's no point in me talking about it. You know, you guys know they're copying me. Whenever I try to call them out, those videos are just censored. And it's just, you know, these people are dirtbags. But I'll be around a little longer than they will be. Uh, Shootback, want to hear how you deal with SIBO. I had really bad SIBO candida overgrowth. But uh, following this dietary protocol, doing the masticum, doing the water kefir has, has kept it in check and fixed it. But definitely watch some of my day of eating videos. If you're still dealing with SIBO, you'll get to see how... Um, the master gum and the water keeper have really helped me out there. Bully Stark Holland, how to get rid of vitamin B12 and D deficiency? Well, you probably want to take a B complex, not individual B vitamins, at least, and then you can kind of individually see which ones you respond to after doing the B complex, and you want to get a lot of sun. But overall, uh, eating a lot of high quality red meat, grass fed beef in your diet uh, is something you should definitely prioritize doing. Chidoka is raw orange juice beneficial. I feel amazing drinking it. I'm not a fan of really juice in general. I mean, maybe you can enjoy it from time to time, but I would go with apple juice or pineapple juice. Um, oranges, some citrus can be a little higher in oxalates and, and certain anti-nutrients. Kurt Allen, candida clearing diets. So the protocol for candida or SIBO is maybe, 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 you, and you shouldn't have to do an antimicrobial for a day or two. Uh, oregano oil with the meals to kind of bomb out the gut bacteria. But it's more important to use a light antimicrobial mastic gum that's not inflammatory to the liver or digestive system because it's not absorbed. And then use water kefir and water kefir grains as a probiotic to replenish the healthy gut microbiome. And those are going to be like the good soldiers that keep the bad soldiers in check. You know, the good microbes keeping away the candida and the yeast overgrowth. And you, know, you can't do these antimicrobial protocols long-term, so you need to get a probiotic to fix it. Zebo Lepo, do you naturally wake up or set alarms? Thankfully, now that I have my own business, I don't really have to get up at a certain time. Uh, so what I'll do is usually between eight and 10 in the morning, I'll just naturally get up and then go down to work. Occasionally, I will have something I absolutely have to do, and I'll set an alarm to, to get up at that time, but my circadian rhythm and my sleep schedule is way off. You know, I, I need to get to bed earlier and, and sleep uh, more regimented. It's just, you know, with the business every day and YouTube and all the stuff I have to do, it's very difficult to have a healthy sleep cycle. Jason Jones, when's your meal plan PDF coming out? I think we answered in the first question. I'm going to try to get it done within a few weeks. Jayadish Mudiar. Why do you keep on promoting saturated fat beyond the recommended limit, even as you know it would place people at a heart health risk? Uh, so, I mean, it's pretty common knowledge now that saturated fat is not the cause of heart disease. Although uh, a lot of animal fat in excess and saturated fat in excess can um, damage the liver and cause some issues. So it's, it's not really a heart related problem, but you definitely wanna have enough carbohydrates and fiber in your diet as well. You wanna eat a balanced diet. Sarah S. Do the majority of people ignore their physical health and mental health? Probably, you know, most people just on the standard American diet, they don't really care about what they eat. They don't exercise that much. They're just dealing with life, whether it's work or their kids or school. And, you know, fortunately they're healthy enough that um, they don't have to do any severe diets. But I, I think actually a lot of people now, almost everyone for the most part, has some sort of health issue related to diet that you know, their doctors just giving them a pill for or something. And when people do try to get healthy, the information they have access to on what being healthy is, is incorrect. And then they just, you know, either make things worse or don't feel better at all. So it's kind of unfortunate that, um, you know, there's a lot of evil people 
that kind of run this planet and uh, they think they're testing people or whatever it is, but they're greedy and um, they don't genuinely care about being reasonable. You know, there's a difference between uh, having power and being fair and having power and taking everything to yourself. And we, we clearly know what's going on here, but uh, that's all the questions. Uh, so thank you guys so much for joining me. Uh, if you want to go to frank com and look at all of my businesses, you'll see so many interesting products. And whether you get them from me or someone else, they'll definitely help you improve your health and feel a lot better. Uh, we also have some things on frank com that I mentioned throughout this video, whether it's uh, my old meal plans or my maximum volume hypertrophy routine. And we'll try to get some new stuff on there very soon. But thanks again for joining, guys. Please drop a like on the video. Leave a comment down below. Subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week. And be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. We'll see you guys soon.